What's up, YouTube? So, book review, Outliers, by Malcolm Gladwell. And that's free. You can get it off YouTube. You can download it and listen to it. So, Outliers, the author talks about, are people who don't aren't normal, aren't like other people. They're the, the ultra-successful. And basically what he talked about is, for hockey players, for example, if you're born during a certain period of the year, you are more destined to be a professional hockey player as opposed to someone born at, at a different time of the month of the year. Because of the fact that if you're born in December, for example, you'll, you'll go ahead and have more propensity to become a better hockey player as opposed to someone who's not born during that month because you have more time to practice. And he talked about people in China, how they maximize their rice farms and how they cultivate it. And, and through doing that and through the culture, that little bit of edge, that little bit of work that you do can make a difference in the long run. So never marginalize, never trivialize that extra minute, that extra hour, that extra five minutes of working towards your goal, of working on your craft and becoming a better person or a better version of yourself. Because that extra five minutes of, let's say, basketball or extra, extra 10 minutes of, let's say, football adds up. And through that and through having the right my, my mindset and being able that you can overcome you can be successful. Um, there's a lot to cover in the book. I can't really get everything. I'm just going to go ahead and, and cover the high pointers. The other pointers that he talked about was the fact that how wealthy people and poor people deal with authority figures. And the wealthy people, for example, when they go to a dentist, they tell their children, the dentist is there to help you. The dentist is there to serve you. And if you have a problem with your teeth, you can ask him questions. As opposed to poor people, they're more uh, susceptible and they're taught to be submissive, to not question authority, to just trust what the dentists say and not argue with him. Um, not to say that you should not to say that you should argue, but the fact that you're almost you're almost in a submissive role and you're talked down to, as opposed to the children from wealthy people are taught to ask questions. And we're taught to um, um, really go ahead and find out why we're doing things the way we're doing. It changes your mindset. It changes your mindset, but more of a learning aspect to um, really um, ground yourself in who you are. Ground yourself, oh, okay, we're doing it this way. Why are we doing it this way? So you can understand the mentality of an achiever and mentality of someone with wealth, the mentality of someone who's not submissive, um, but obedient. And however, has the mentality of confidence, has the mentality of, hey, I can go ahead and ask a question. I can go ahead and don't have to be embarrassed about uh, a concern that legitimately concerns me regarding my health. So again, you ta you're taught this in childhood, that little stuff grows into big stuff. So if you're taught as a little child to be submissive, keep your mouth shut, do what you're told, okay? Keep your mouth shut, do what you're told. They're not gonna, they're not gonna ask any questions. There used to be a saying years ago, it, ca it was called children are to be seen and not heard, which is horrible, horrible way to raise your kids, to not not ask any questions. Ask questions relentlessly because those who ask questions are the ones that are usually employed. Those that know how to do it and the reason why they're doing it are usually the boss. So ask questions re relentlessly. Read the book out, lawyers. It will definitely, um, definitely give you... Um, for me, it was kind of just reinforcing stuff that I'm already doing and I'm, that I already live, the, value, the values that I already live. But it's important for me because I had the childhood to where, you know, it was very kind of constricted and that kind of stuff where it was almost oppressed in a way. Um, but it's important to, to learn that you have to reprogram your mind. 
you have to restructure the negative thought patterns and the negative default pattern through neuro-linguistic programming, through list repetition, through listening to thing e over, listening positive things over and over again. Even Tony Robbins does this. Tony Robbins is one of the most successful people on the planet. And yet, he continually and habitually, habitually through his habits, de develops patterns to make himself mentally successful. Remember, you're responsible for your own happiness. You're responsible for your own success. Now, I'm going through something right now, which is very difficult. Um, taking college math, okay? I haven't done it in years, but I'm going through it, okay? I may not, I may not win the battle, but you best believe I'm going to win the war. I'm going to get my degree, uh, my second degree, okay? So uh, with that being said, I hope this encourages you. I hope you don't give up on your dreams. Keep forging, forge ahead. Keep moving forward. Keep, even if you have to stumble along the way, move forward. Thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up if you like it. And I'll be doing a book review once a month. Take care.